Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about mounts. Not a regular mount, belt driven or whatsoever, no. This is a new kind of mount. It's an harmonic drive mount and we will have a look at it. Enjoy. It's my first harmonic drive mount and uh, when I saw the mount I was shocked and was thinking wow it's so small uh, can it take the weight of my Newton or not because before I used the uh, AM5 I had this little baby with me one second you see that that's the EQ6 and if you compare the size of an EQ6 to the AM5, it's incredible. I mean, the head of the EQ6 weighs some, uh, I think 15 kilo, 14 kilo, something like this. So, sorry, I have to put it down on the floor. It's so heavy. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a huge weight difference and uh, I bought the AM5 not to work in my garden with it, but to be mobile. And I think that's uh, what ZWAO Z uh, made it for actually. Uh, what you can also see is here I added some counterweight just to be on the safe side because the whole equipment, my telescope weighs some uh, 9 kilo and uh, camera, guide camera, etc. is another. I would say three kilos, so the, the, the total weight here is around 12 kilogram, and uh, that's quite a lot from my point of view. So uh, to have uh, a safe sleep, I would call it, <laughs> I put some weight, counterweight on it, even when ZWO uh, tells us on their website about the specs of uh, the AM5 up to 13 kilo you don't need any any counterweights but uh, I want to play it safe and uh, sound so yeah what you see uh, else here is uh, I used the tripod of my uh, AQ6 and um, I want to show you something when you look at the pier extension um, you see uh, I made an M M10 bolt to attach it uh, to attach the pier um, to to the tripod and um, all the weight of the equipment stays on that little little nut here um, and this is something you know I don't like. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of weight just on that little bolt, and uh, as you can see, um, the weight is not equally distributed, and it's not balanced. And uh, harmonic drives you can't balance. <laughs> That's what they say, um, but I tried to do so anyway, um, using some marks on. Uh, on the bar here um, which I usually use for my EQ6 so yeah that's my equipment and uh, I want to show you the uh, the guide file um, the guide lock made uh, last night we had a consecutive three clear nights here now in Germany and I took the advantage to take some photos and get used to the AM5 um, what else shall I tell you about it? I mean, all the, the connections are uh, well known. I power the uh, AM5 via my uh, Azi Air. Uh, the Azi Air is here. So uh, one of the, the power cable goes from the Azi Air into the AM5 mount. Uh, no problem with that. And uh, the main power where I power the Azi Air from goes uh, 
into my house, so um, I'm not playing around here. So, yeah, and uh, just as a side note, um, uh, as I know, the uh, the uh, ASI Air is not very good in transmitting the Wi-Fi signal into my house, into my house home network, uh, used an, uh, an extension and an extender, a signal enhancer, um, which is this little baby, and it works quite quite fine. So yeah, um, that's it basically. That's uh, the equipment I used and I imaged um, last night the uh, Iris Nebula. And uh, yeah, come to my computer and uh, we will look a little bit in more detail into the guide. Um, you see here is a guide wrap for the AM5 and uh, this is different uh, timing during the last night. Um, here you see the guide graph uh, <clears throat> array and deck axis um, in different colors and everything looks smooth inside the two and a half uh, arc second area most of the time. Those uh, peaks here are because of the dithering, um, so you can ignore it. Um, if you look at the total RMS values, they are always around one or below. And this is, I want to mention this uh, without any tuning of uh, the guide software, the guide graph software. So uh, I use the standard settings. Um, exposure time was uh, set to one second. Um, and that's fine. Um, but what I have seen here, when you go to the drift, you see the polar alignment error. This is uh, quite huge. So I have to change that. And uh, what I read in the forums is that uh, the mount behaves very sensitive to um, polar alignment errors. So I have to look into that. And when you look at the scatter graph, um, it also uh, looks that in the north-south axis, uh, there is much more um, activity than uh, in the uh, east-west. So this is something, I think it's mainly because of my polar alignment error, but I have to test it. Uh, so, and then we will have a quick look at the um, periodic error. Um, ZWO measures each mount they measure the full periodic error and they also measure the partial zoom or they check the partial zoom and uh, that looks quite okay. It's uh, between, let's say, five to six plus uh, and down to minus four. So in the range of eight arc seconds, uh, the whole activity of the mount is, is there. And you see the, the hard figure or the hard numbers here on, on the top uh, max and minimum periodic error measured in arc seconds. But more interesting is the partial zoom here. And what I did is um, I measured the, the steepness here of the graph and I measured uh, it's uh, 0.07 arc seconds per second error. And that's quite okay because that is the error the mode would produce without any other factor coming in that's that's uh, the the uh, the error factor which comes with the mount so no wind no seeing impact nothing so i would assume that this mount runs uh, quite okay and also the total number of um, the error is is not that high here yeah? i mean that's all fine and i'm i'm happy with that mount so finally said um Yes, uh, we will look deeper into that. And uh, I would like to show you in the last picture, um, the result of the night yesterday. So finally, um, this is the result of the uh, data I generated yesterday. Um, I could use all my data um, that was uh, LRGB data uh, it's, this is the Iris Nebula, for those who don't know this, um, NGC 7023. And um, it's a reflection nebula, as you can see here, um, made under the full moon. 
yesterday night and um, what you see nicely here is the dust clouds and uh, yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with that star sizes are okay and um, yeah the mount performs and uh, I didn't believe it that it works with a Newton but it works with a Newton but basically when I use it on, as a mobile mount I will use my ASCA 400 um, refractor for it. So that's that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for uh, watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Cheers.